Time is tickling and the much awaited FKF elections around the corner. And with the FKF electoral board set to commence the process of listening to disputes arising on the club register ahead of the national elections, the board has been slammed by various aspirants of the chairmanship position, including former Nyanza FKF NEC member Tom Alila. I find it is nonsensical. He, he chose his people that are going to be uh, uh, running these elections. Uh, for me, they are not independent. They need to be. If at all the independence is there, then they should not have agreed to be housed in Kandanda House. That is uh, in itself uh, wrong. Uh, it cannot go that way. They should be having an independent office somewhere else uh, where all stakeholders are comfortable to be meeting with them. They should not be using resources of FKF. They should be having an independent office where they can be, people can be, stakeholders can be meeting with them. Deliberations are taken there. All issues which they are talking about, if uh, uh, these stakeholders have issues, they can be solving them from there. Alila is banking on his track record when he served as NEC member for one term in South Nyanza from 2013 under the reign of Sam Nyamwea, who is also vying for the post. But now football is played in all 47 counties, their talent. What was driving me is to bring in the force so that we can use these 47 counties as uh, partners in that the curriculum that we need to have a long term uh, uh, youth uh, development which can be taught in school and then we make for them also playing surfaces even if it is half so that they, we, 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 we derive these talents. Teachers are very easy to understand uh, FIFA rules. They can be good referees. Others in the hunt for the position include Sam Nyamwea, Sami Shole, Nicholas Musonye, Moses Sakaranga and Bonfas Usano. The county elections have been set for September 19th, while the national polls have been scheduled for October 17th. Frederick Moki for Channel One Sports.